Hey, what's up guys? It's Ravenclaw here and today we're talking about something special and sort of like an update of what's been going on. I've been doing some uh, pretty interesting work that I can't wait to show you guys and I did post a uh, photo up on Facebook of the progress of our uh, machinima like movie series and I cannot wait to get over there. So firstly, let's talk about why I'm in Dalaran. Okay, so as you all know, I've gone and seen the movie and we'll talk about the movie in a bit and I've got a bit of a giveaway to do something small but you know better than nothing hey so we're in Dalaran because in the movie they incorporate Dalaran into yeah so before we go any further there may be some spoilers about the movie maybe I'll try not to give too much away for it so that those who haven't seen it you know can still watch the video without any troubles okay so as yeah well they do go to Dalaran okay so I thought to myself, how cool would it be to start our movie in Dalaran? So we'll start our journey, our movie series in um, in Dalaran. Okay, so it got to me thinking, all right, so I've come to Dalaran today to show you around and to show you what I've come up with. So this is your standard Dalaran in-game, as obviously. Okay, so it's very vibrant, very nice. So I thought to myself, I don't really want to do the cinematics in WoW. Like I didn't want to do it like a, all the other machinimas out there just doing it sort of in WoW. I want to go one step further and make it more, you know, give it the Ravenclaw team style. So what did I do? I decided to take WoW and for all those that know what this program is, I've taken Dalaran and put it into the Unreal Engine. So Unreal Engine is just another games engine, but it's it's more for you know the AAA games where very high detail, high quality. You can have like real time lighting, particle effects, everything. So we'll get there in a second. So yeah, so I've been working on that and. I've sort of got an idea of how I want to start our movie. So I just wanted to take you here, show you around Dalaran real quick, and then show you how different it looks when we go inside Unreal. It is awesome. And it allows me to then animate characters. So I can have NPCs, I can code them up to say, you know, let's say we want, you know, we could have these guys standing here and actually moving. And when we get near them, they'll actually interact with us. You know, oh, oh yes, the horde side. Whoops. Um, I can then animate some fight sequences. You know, I can get like, let's say Deathwing. Deathwing can come in, fly and land right next to us and then start shooting fire around. I can code all that, program it into UE4 and have it all happening on the fly. And that way I can then record Instead of doing it the other way, I was sort of having to animate, then render every every frame, and oh, it was it was starting to get painful. So, yeah, how about we just uh, enough talk and head on over to the Unreal Engine? Okay, so here we are in the Unreal Engine, and this is Dalaran. Now, it's only just the city there's no trees or anything but you can see the detail i added all the normal maps to the city so you can see up on the towers there it looks more realistic i've got that it's at night obviously so i've added the custom lighting to make that sort of an effect and you can see in the shadows it's it's it just adds that realism to it now i haven't done the whole city yet. it's a little bit laggy at the moment because i've got a lot of software running um but I haven't done all the detailing, so you can see that tower over there is a bit flat, as opposed to the, say, the roof over on the building just above the head. So you can see the detail. Now I've got to work on a fair bit, but having it in here will allow me to do a bunch of things. So I can add, you know, I can do my own custom particle effects. So let's just close this down, jump back into here. Okay, so let's just minimize that for a sec. Open this up like that. 
blah 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 open you up like that okay a little bit more of a, a view now this person here i can switch for my character you know i can do ravenclaw i can do your characters i can put you in here animate you i can have you walking around the city you know but this is only going to be one of the scenes and this is where we'll start our journey okay so for example now i've got to put all the bits and pieces like the trees and the things in but that's later i just need to get the city set up first before i could do anything and um even though it's at night i can change the settings i can make it day i can make whatever i want but i just wanted to show you the difference of in-game machinima or real life cinematic sort of machinima and i'll be doing like as i said in ue4 we can do a lot of custom cinematics with their um, cameras and stuff so much easier and it's all in real time which is awesome now things particle effects let me just quickly show you some of the um some of the things that they have already uh, for example let's chuck a fire in here uh there and then if we go into play see look at that you even have the sounds i don't know if you can hear that but see what i mean that's what i'm gonna have that sort of stuff but i'll i'll end up making my own my own um custom effects so i don't use any of theirs and uh, obviously yes i know that i didn't create dalaran or anything like that and i'm not claiming i have i'm just using the original models how cool does that look but how real does that look i really think this is going to look absolutely awesome and i'm going to do things like this i don't know if i left the light in here yeah i did so i'll have like you know street lights I don't think they have street lights in Dalaran at the moment, but I'll put street lamps in to give that a little bit more of a realism to it. But if I come over in here, I'll light up the rooms, you know, so it looks real. I'll put all the NPCs in. It's going to take a little while, but I think it's going to turn out absolutely wicked. But you can see the light up in there, lights up the room, things like that. Then I'm going to have like, you know, we're here to talk to the mages of Dalaran and so on and so forth. Then we can go down to the Undercity. So it's all here. The whole city's here. It's just, I'm still working on the, the parameters and everything. But once it's all set up, I'll have it. And the next one, I'll have Stormwind. And then I'll do Orgrimmar. But yeah, you guys get the idea of where I'm going with this. So I just really wanted to show you what I have been up with. Uh, been up with. Been up to. And it's greatly inspired by, um, by the movie. Okay, so let's just get out of this. So, this is where I'm at. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to show you guys is because I want your feedback. I want your opinions. Like I said, I don't want to be the one that'll just do it and then say, here you go, watch it. I want us, I want, especially you guys, I want you guys to feel like you were part of the creation too, which is what I really want. So, I want you to guys to tell me, you know, it would be great if for the opening scene... There was an attack on Dalaran and I can have things blowing up and crashing and whatever. Okay, so I want you guys to have a think and let me know what you'd love to see in the first episode. Okay, so it's going to be set in Dalaran and then we'll go off and somewhere else and venture the world and whatever. We're going to start here, but I'm going to want to incorporate Legion coming as well. So that would be cool have Illidan and all that um, other thing like look at this how cool does this look so we've got the fire and then around the corner we've got sparks coming out of the wall like it's really cool isn't it like we can do all cool excuse me we can do awesome things like oh anyway I'm gonna keep raving on about this um, oh yeah we can do what else did I do last night I did we could do steam coming out of the um so I'll chuck that in there. Run around here and we can see steam coming out of the um, the well. That would make for a really cool cinematic. So you can imagine we'll have this like smoky effect and then um, say like one of the mages will come out of the smoke, you know, and appear and tell us 
some bits and pieces. I don't know. I've got to. I could keep just rambling on about this like the whole video and and more. But yeah, so let me know in the comments, guys. I want you to tell me what you guys want to see in the first episode, and I can make that happen. Now, uh, where are we? So, as far as the movie goes, I will be giving away a. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's going to be one of these little epic boxes. Okay, inside's some pretty cool little things. So, if you want. To win this and I will be doing a a custom backdrop I can have you say we can do it'll be me and whoever wins I guess I'll get you a character and I'll do a, a HD desktop with us in the middle of a fight about to do something cool whatever you want and I'll or I can have something signed and send it to you with the box so all you need to do to win this is just simply let me know what you want to see in the first episode of our movie series. And the best comment I will pick. And yeah, whoever leaves the best comment will win. <laughs> That's pretty much what I wanted to say. Okay, so go for it. And uh, I know it's not anything huge, but hey, it's uh, better than nothing. And, and it's uh, to commemorate the Warcraft movie. So yeah, and lastly, while we are still in Dalaran, I... I I thought the movie itself was very well done. I, th I thought it kept true to the Warcraft story. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts for the people that have seen it. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? I'd love to hear it. I thought it was really cool. I don't really want to go too much, just in case someone that hasn't seen it is watching this yet. And yeah, I don't want to ruin it for people because it's really something that you really need to see firsthand and experience without having it ruined by me. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. There was um, some really good effects. They really focused on their effect work, which was awesome. And um, yeah, like there's a lot of emotion put behind this too. And I guess it's a, a really long time coming for me, especially like I've been waiting like what, 10 years for this to happen. And it didn't disappoint. I was, it's pretty much lived up to my expectations, which was epic. And I'm really glad it did. But yeah, so I suppose we can get into more of that later on in another video. We can have a discussion. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know where I was up to, what's been happening, and that's pretty much it. So you guys know what to do. I can't wait to hear from you, and I cannot wait to get started on this series. It's going to be awesome fun. But anyway, I've got another video to make, so I'm just going to end it right here. <laughs> Until next time, you awesome people. Keep on sniping, and I'm definitely going to see you in the next video. So don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and it's... Yeah, bye.